Hey, what's going on? I'm Matt O'Leary back with another video and today's topic is going to be Sam Darnold and how he is finally cleared. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention that you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So now that we got that out of the way, let's jump right into today's topic. Sam Darnold is cleared and all good to go. He will be starting in week six against the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm excited because I don't want to watch Luke Falk play football anymore, and I am hoping that the offense is a little bit more creative than run on first down, run on second down, screen on third down. But I'm also a little bit nervous, because the Jets' offensive line is downright atrocious. They are terrible. They probably need four new starters for next year, which is a big-time ask for Joe Douglas. But nonetheless, that's the situation that they're currently in. And if Sam Darnold's spleen is even slightly swollen still, it could rupture. And sure, I know he, it probably isn't if he's been cleared medically, but still a small piece of me in the back of my mind is a little bit nervous for Demarcus Lawrence bearing down on Sam Darnold multiple times on Sunday. So while Sam Darnold was gone, this is what he missed. The Jets' offense is ranked second to last in terms of offensive DVOA, and in the last two games against the Eagles and the Patriots, the offense has averaged 2.25 yards per play. Two and a quarter yards per play. That's just mind-boggling how that's even possible in the 2019 NFL. It's stunning, really. So what do the Jets get back? Hope. A small sliver of hope. Yes, at 0-4, you could probably kiss the playoffs goodbye unless they somehow miraculously go 10-2 the rest of the way, which I don't think is going to happen. But if Sam Darnold is back and they compete and they are in these games where they're playing the tougher opponents, and maybe they beat up on the Dolphins, the Redskins, maybe they could beat the Giants, even the Bengals, who knows what they're doing. So there are some winnable games on the schedule, maybe a flip 0-4 to 6-10, and which seems a little bit more likely. But nonetheless, you have a little bit of hope, and you hopefully have a watchable product, because the last three weeks has not been that. It has been the opposite of watchable product. It's been awful football. So hopefully we get to see that on Sunday. Stats-wise, I wanted to take a look at Darnold's last five games played. So we'll start with the last four of last year, and then the one game that he played this year. In the last four games against Buffalo, Houston, Green Bay, and New England Patriots last year, Sam Darnold was the highest-rated quarterback by Pro Football Focus with an 87.7. Over that time, he completed 63.9% of his passes through eight touchdowns, one pick, Averaged 233 yards per game and had an average rating of 96.7 over that span. He looked fairly good. That's why Jets fans were so confident heading into this year that they had their guy. And then in week one, he kind of had a lousy game, but there was some more context to the story. We didn't know at the time that he was dealing with mono-like symptoms because there's no way you can tell me that they found out on Tuesday or Wednesday after the game uh, in week one, that he had mono, that he didn't have any symptoms on Sunday. On Monday, they said that it was strep throat, so he, you had to feel like Sam Darnold was suffering with some symptoms from Sunday's game. And he didn't play that great, but he wasn't also that bad either. He had a 68.3 completion percentage, one touchdown, no picks, no turnovers of any kind. Now, when you look at the other games that Buffalo has played this year and what their defense has done, that's on the better end for quarterbacks against this defense. Tom Brady was at 46.2%. He threw for 150 yards, no touchdowns, and a pick. His rating, 45.9. Mariota, 59% of his passes, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions, 183 yards, 86 rating. One of the better ones. Uh, you have Eli, who threw for 250 yards. One touchdown, two picks, a 62.3 rating. And Andy Dalton, who threw for 250 yards also. One touchdown, two picks, and a 63.4 rating. So out of those guys, maybe he didn't throw for as many yards, but he didn't turn the ball over. He looked okay. Again, it wasn't the same guy that we saw in the final four weeks of 2018. That I will completely admit. But when you take into account what the other quarterbacks who have played the Buffalo Bills did, and on top of that, he was also likely playing with mono symptoms. You could survive with those stats. You could 100% survive with those stats. And now the hope is that he plays the remainder of the schedule and remains healthy and continues his development. Because what we saw in the preseason 
that gave the Jets a lot of hope. What they did on their first drive against the Giants in the preseason, what they did against the Falcons in the preseason, that was exciting to see. And that is the offense that I hope we see. You also get Chris Herndon back. And now, finally, the excuses for Adam Gase can stop. He has his quarterback. He has his number one tight end back. Figure it out. If we're three, four weeks from now, and the Jets are still in the bottom two or bottom half, of, not bottom half, I'll give them bottom half, but if they are still in the bottom five, let's say, of the league in offensive DVOA, that's on Adam Gase. It has to be. The excuses has to stop. They can't go week in and week out and put up 10 points a game. With Darnold, Herndon, Le'Veon Bell, Crowder, Anderson, that's a formidable offense. Hey, maybe use Ty Montgomery or Bilal Powell. That's a crazy idea. Get more bodies involved in this offense. Get more creative. And hopefully, this product on the field gets better. I think it does. Let me know in the comments what you think about Sam Darnold coming back on Sunday against the Dallas Cowboys. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Matt O'Leary and why I tweet live gifts and live updates during the Jets game. So you're going to definitely want to follow along on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you guys next time.